Shalom friends, it's Eli Dan from eTeacher Group and in today's question of the week we are going to speak about why King Zedekiah ran away from the Babylonians. Stay tuned and I will share with you one of my hot learning Hebrew tips. How did the last king of Judah run away from the Babylonians? Keitzad Barach HaMelech HaAcharon Shel Yehuda Meha Bavlin You can see a beautiful picture of cave. Cave in Hebrew is the word Me'ara. Me'ara, Mem, Ein, Reish, and Hey. Now, we can see the cave, and the cave helped the king to run away from the Babylonians. But the question is still, who was this king? Let us read from the second book of Kings, chapter 25, verses 3 to 5. Betish'a lachodesh, vayechezah kara'av ba'ir, velo haya lechem le'am ha'aretz, vatibaka'a ha'ir, vechol anshe'a milchama ha'layla, derech shar ben ha'chomotai m'ashir al gan ha'melech, vechasdim al ha'ir sabim. וילך דרך הערבה. וירדפו חיל כסדי מחר המלך וישיגו אותו בערבות יריחו וכל חילו נפוצו מעליו. This king, dear friends, is צדקיהו. צדקיהו, king צדקיה. We can see here in the right side how king צדקיה was brought to a, a trial with the Babylonians. And in the right side we can see the destruction of the first temple by the Babylonians. Tzidkiyahu has six letters, Tzadik, Daled, Kof, Yod, Hey, and Vav, meaning that the Lord did justice, he did justice with the people of Israel after the sins of King Menashe. The legend, this uh, came about this cave, is this is uh, the hiding place of King Tzedekiah. Rashi said that uh, while King Tzedekia uh, ran away from the troops of the Babylonian, uh, there was a buck that uh, ran away along the surface on the top of the cave. Uh, as Tzedekia was walking down below. This is the way that uh, uh, Tzedekia ran away from Jerusalem. The soldier of the Babylonian chased after the buck and arrived to the exit of the cave that was in Jericho. This is how uh, the Babylonians uh, cut uh, uh, Tzedekia. This is the reason why uh, this cave called Tzedekia cave, Me'ara Tzidkiyahu. There is another description of Benjamin II from 1847. Mechutz la'ir nimtzet ha'me'ara asher chafua b'mitzvat ha'melech Hizkiyah. ואומרים כי צדקיהו מלך יהודה האחרון רצה להימלט דרך המערה הזאת מידי הכסדים. המערה סמוכה לשער שכם ורחבה כל כך עד אשר יוכל סוס ורוחבו לעבור בה. כן הגידו לי יהודים אחדים. The picture here is from the 19th century and uh, according to the legend here of Benjamin II, uh, the story of Benjamin II, uh, this king was uh, 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 in the days of King Hezekiah, Hezekiah, and Zedekiah, who was the last king, he escaped from this cave uh, from the Babylonians. The Jewish tradition also links the spring in the belly of the cave, Mayan in Hebrew, to Zedekiah tears, dripping there to uh, the destruction of Jerusalem, occurred in 586 before Common Era. The Arabs called this cave the cave of Korach. According to an Arabic legend, this is a place when the ground swallowed Korach and his congregation, as written in the book of Numbers 16, verse 32, 
While you climb your stairs, you can count the Hebrew numbers. אחת, שתיים, שלוש, ארבע, חמש, שש, שבע, שמונה, תשע, עשר. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you next time. You are more than welcome to leave a comment.